G'day, I'm Dr. Lisa. This is my Glow Show. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about the magnificent Aurora Australis, the Southern Lights. This is a time lapse of an Aurora and so it's faster than what we see in real life. But you see the beautiful colors, the green and the pink and the beams dancing across the horizon. So this shot is really interesting. What we see is two different views of the Aurora. Little bit of science. Um, so the shot on the right is what the camera sees. The shot on the left is what our eyes see without the camera. Our eyes have great vision because of little tiny things in our eyes called rods and cones. These are the structures that give us our vision. Cones see color, but not at night unless it's really bright. Rods see at night, but not in color. So if colors are dim, we struggle to see them at night. So for us, the aurora is more washed out when we see it. But strangely, and nobody knows why that I've been able to find, when we see the aurora over water, the reflection on the water is more beautiful, more saturated with color than what our eyes see in the sky. But of course, the camera sees even better because it doesn't have rods and cones. It just sees the full color. Okay, so here's what's so fascinating. What I love most about the Aurora, other than the beautiful, beautiful colors in the sky that we see, is that we can actually know when it's coming. So Aurora, give us about three days notice. Um, so what happens with the Aurora? The sun uh, ejects these charged particles. It's a physics thing. But these charged particles come out of the sun and hurtle towards Earth. And it takes about three days for the particles to leave the sun and come to the Earth. And our magnetic field, Earth's magnetic field, actually shields us from these charged particles, protects us. But what it does is it funnels these charged particles to the North Pole and the South Pole which is why we see the aurorae at the two poles. So the aurora comes in a variety of really dazzling colors, but whether it's greenish, yellowish, or uh, reddish, pinkish, purplish, orangish. Um, so the green tones and the red tones are because of different gases in the atmosphere and these charged particles that come from the sun interact with these gases in the atmosphere and give us these colors that are so dazzling for us to see. So, I just want to leave you with a thought. We know how to predict the aurora, well, mostly at least, um, and we know the science behind how the aurora happens. But here's the thing. Knowing the science and knowing the prediction makes it no less wondrous. And we are so lucky here in Tasmania to get the aurora quite frequently, actually. So please get out there and see the aurora. It's amazing. Thank you for joining me for this little sampler of the Glow Show. I am so excited about my Glow Show. Come join me to learn more about the Aurora Australis and about bioluminescence, sea sparkles, glow worms, ghost mushrooms, and even fluorescent marsupials. I'm Dr. Lisa, the Glow Girl coming to you from my beautiful Glow Show studio in beautiful downtown Hobart. Thank you.